Hello, this is Captain Poodle speaking. Are you ready to find love? Yes, ahoy, matey. Love. Do, 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 do. Exciting and new. <laughs> Go online. Hmm. They're catfishing you. Shocker. Beyonce. Soon you'll be flying to parts unknown. 90 Day Beyonce. Marrying someone you only met on your phone. Be they French or Chinese, a brand new K1 visa's the key. Ooh, the key to what, Poodle? To love. <laughs> It's reality, yes. Let's love. God, y'all, this move has been so hard on me. <laughs> no, we're in my new I'm place. Exa- we're in my I'm new ex- place. I'm exhausted from this move. Send thoughts. I'm send s- prayers. This has been so much for me. I'm so sweet right now. <laughs> Cut to five minutes earlier, Poodle was yelling, fuck, 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 fuck. I had my second COVID shot today, y'all. Uh, and y'all, I'm he's... and I'm a little slightly feverish, and I'm he's kind of feverish. angry at the world. The internet's not working, <laughs> and now his body is realizing that it's soon going to get fucked, so it just and wants I'm, it all I'm now. I'm very emotional. Uh, if I start crying on the episode, you'll know why. But I'm I'm kind of feverish. I'm in between hot and cold sweats. I don't feel terrible. I'm just I my I have a hair trigger, and if you say anything to me, I might jump down your throat. <laughs> See, I don't get it when people say we're dramatic. <laughs> Y'all, welcome to reality, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Reality Gaze. My name's Matt Marr, a.k.a. Maddie, and this queen with me is Jake Anthony, a.k.a. Poodle. Y'all in the video, what do you think of my new place? It's, um, you can see just the, back, the background a little bit, but um, uh, we're not together. I'm just, uh, we're, we're still remote yet goat, um, but. So I am in Houston. Father's about to do stem cell. By the way, y'all. Allegedly. Houston. This p- apartment we're in has goo- has f- not goo. It's f- it's like fiber internet. Come at me, tech cities. When is LA going to get fiber? Because this shit is amazing. Why sh- we should have that by now? Um, we do not, and it's upsetting. I'll, I'm sorry if I'm echoey. By the way, I'm going to get some rugs for this room. Um, but it looks like there's just a monster with like two eyes behind. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't see anything behind you. I just you don't see, see the two eyes. Of, I just see this bitch in front of me. Oh, my arm hurts. <sighs> um, God. you're gonna. You know what? Did you when I got my second shot? Did we hear anything about it? No. You complained about this, it. You said you weren't this, well. This is gonna be a three week tirade <laughs> of you talking about it on the podcast. No, I won't. Just for that, I won't. <laughs> I'll keep everything inside because I can't be myself. What did Mother Isn't Poodle it? get her second shot? <laughs> she did. She's got no. She's she's fully vaccinated. She's been vaccinated. Did she complain Didn't about see it? my grandkids? Has she got to see them? Yes. No. She got her second shot. Like she's has asthma and she's like was in the first tier. Um. So y'all, the Poodle got his shot on April fifth. So that's we today just need to let, that we're recording. Yes, that we're recording. We just need to let you know that <laughs> in April 20th, a, <laughs> April 20th, if you hear a sonic boom, that's a dick going in Poodle's ass <laughs> multiple, multiple times. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> it is going to happen. I'm a little buzzed on Kate Hudson vodka because getting through <laughs> Poodle's move has aged me. It is a I'm going to have to get more I'm going to have to get more fillers because of this move. This, yeah, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. <laughs> Your face looks like I molded it out of like Play-Doh already. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Um, <laughs> do we have any announcements? Um, we do. Our first announcement is y'all um uh 
We believe in supporting other podcasters, and that's always been a big thing. Melanie yes. Way. Um, I just posted on our Instagram. Night Day Cray Cray. Great. There's a fantastic episode of um, Add to Cart. Add to Cart. That's that, who so we did a crossover with. What's going on about Asian hate in America, which ties it's into fantastic. our charity. Um, we need to talk about Yara being the most beautiful, like, uh, expectant Pregnant mother ever. <laughs> It was upsetting. Anyway, no, so don't that, think you can do that normally. Uh, oh God, I would look red. That's that's not the rule. <laughs> no, like oh, anyway, like all my girlfriends that got had babies in their ninth month looked like they were stung by ten thousand bees, and that's normal. That's exactly what she not Yara, happen. not Yara, not Yara. Anyway, um. So we just want to send that out. We do want to mention, though, our charity for this week for our or this month for our Facebook group is um, in our we see just so you know, everybody, we're doing a charity in our Facebook group every month. Also, all the merch that you purchase for the month of April is going to go towards our charity uh, this week. Uh, our charity is I'll we'll look talk it up. about it. Poodle? Yes, sure. I'll look it up. Uh, we I, don't want to say I, it wrong. I, no, I always fuck the name up, up it. I do, too. Because their website isn't great. <laughs> it's confusing. But that's okay. We love the organization. Um, oh, fuck. Why won't this let me do this? I'll look up. I'll talk about other stuff while you're doing that. So, okay, um, y'all, oh, why is my... we're, um, we're going to get back to the charity. The Single Life, we just got a lot going on last week. The Single Life is we're going to premiere two episodes of that on Friday because we're going to be only doing one episode of 90 Day Fiance tonight because we didn't feel like this was worth two episodes. Um, so we're going to do one episode tonight, and you're going to get two episodes of The Single Life on Friday. So Woo-hoo! just so you know, that's going to happen. And then also, y'all, Pig Royalty is going to drop at the <sighs> end of this week. The first episode of Pig Royalty is going to drop. Um, it's first to it's everything it, I've ever wanted in a show. It's 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 like when it's like when it's almost as good as uh, three tops who don't know your name and you don't care are in the same bedroom. It's okay if they know your name, and they if just, they, they don't, just can't say it. Better. <laughs> shh, 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 Eduardo, say nothing. Exactly. So. Um, we're, the way we're going to do Pig World, as with all of our shows that are binges, we are um, we're going to have the first episode is going to drop this week. The next episode will drop next week, and then we'll drop the rest of the episodes on our eight dollar tier on our Reality Gaze Extra. Yep. And our charity this week or this month, why not keep saying it? Is it's Asian Americans, Asian Americans Asian advancing Americans justice? Advancing justice. A A J C. A A A A A J. A A J C. That's what no A A A J. Asian Americans advancing justice. There's no I think C. They, I think they call themselves A A J C. I'm looking. Why? At right now. I don't know. That's, I'm telling you, the brand is not perfect. <laughs> I've said this. Anyway, y'all, they're a website. I'm going to put it in the show notes. Advancing Justice dash a a j c dot org so basically they are fighting for civil rights and empowering asian americans to create a more just america for all we felt like in the wake of what's been happening in yeah, Atlanta, all the way through march and too. honestly y'all atlanta is like if you're atlanta is like george floyd if this is the first time you went wait a minute there's inequality for black men. Yes. And there's inequality for Asians in America. So it's, it's, well, this isn't it's, new. It's, it's been going on. Not just inequality. It's not, it's not safe. It's not, it's safe. not safe. Yeah. I mean, to be, so, to be, uh, to be Asian. Oh, you know, and a lot of that is, there's many reasons, but if you're not friends with Asian people, maybe you don't know this, but one of my very, my, probably my sole friend, my one of my best friends is Japanese American. And, you know, she has grandparents that were in the internment camps mm-hmm. in California. And the way she talks that about was that, only I, 60 years ago. Growing up in Oklahoma, I had no idea about that. That was barely really? talked. It was mentioned in our history classes, but it was just. You kind of think about Nazis and Jewish people. Right. That's what you're taught. But you didn't realize that we did this here in our own country. Yeah, on uh, on our own soil. To our own own soil. And so people to people who were born here because we considered them we considered them uh uh risks 
uh, because we, we wondered where their loyalty was because of how they looked. Exactly. So we are. that's why we chose this organization this month. If you want to give it to it, great. If you don't, that's fine too. Y'all, we always say we have 8,000 members in our sissy squad. If everybody gave a dollar, that would be $8,000. That would be, that, be it. If you don't have a dollar right now, we get it. So anyway, so that's all. I basically, basically, that's all the announcements. Single live pig royalty and Poodle's going to get fucked in two weeks. <laughs> Woo! Sweet! Woo-wee! Um, I think, oh, and also uh, March Madness Review of Palooza, we are announcing, did you say that we're announcing the winners? Oh, we did not. Okay. Thank you. We are announcing the winners of March Madness Review of Palooza uh, on our single life shows that are coming out on Friday or Saturday. So listen for those to see if you are the winner to receive an $8 subscription to Supercast for the, for a year. Yes, that is what, and we'll just refund you. We were going to do it this episode, but Poodle's moving. <laughs> no, and I've had my shot, so I'm going to do my so, best. Y'all got, so we're going to jump into 90 Day Fiance, but before we do that, we promise people, y'all, hopefully this doesn't go on longer than 20. 10 minutes but if you don't want to hear poodle's moving story then you can fast oh, forward now oh, that's right. we have to tell this but we have to talk i promised our gay trends oh. and super sissies <laughs> we mentioned it but we said we're not going to tell the story until they're free feed because y'all i forgot you, we have to tell the story if you go to urbandictionary.net or whatever that website is and you look up shit show <laughs> There, that bad. There's going to be a picture of Poodle surrounded by boxes with <laughs> fire coming out of going. her head. It was horrible. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't that bad. Look, On a scale of one to ten, Poodle, one to ten. Uh, two. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Um, That's in, fair. In terms of disaster, maybe like a twelve. Where do um, we start? Where do we start? I the think, Kate Hudson vodka's kicking in, so I'm ready. For I think it. the we we start first when my refrigerator that I had that I could not bring because it was uh, half an inch too large, and so I had to buy another refrigerator. And uh, and they I had because I some fucking you queen, to... some queen said you need to get it all done on the same day. You need to have your okay. everything delivered. Just have it all do it all on the same okay. day. Have your move. Have your move. I did. You no, need no, to get, no, no, you need no, to have no, your no, move. No, no, no. All the delivery, no. all the delivery done in the same day. No, no, no. I did not say on the same day. I said you just need I to do said, it all on the same day. I said have everything done on the same same day. And when I said that, I thought I meant. Everything connected, meaning you move on a Thursday, you get your cable and everything connected on a Friday. What That's bitch, not how you brought what it What this to bitch me. heard was who is 40 fucking three years old and should know better. I can't believe you just said my age on the air. <laughs> and I'm going to forever <laughs> hold that against you. You should know better. First of all, do I do I look forty three? And if <laughs> no. someone else says that I do, you don't need to listen to us anymore. You you don't look older than forty three. Thank you. You do not look forty three at all. You look definitely in your early thirties. I will admit that. Not I'm early thirties. Even... Well, let's say mid to later. If you shaved, because oh, I look I sh- like a lesbian. I just re- I just recently shaved, and I think I could pass for like thirty-two. If you shaved your beard, I think you could pass for like thirty-one. You could with you with when you're shaved, you could pass for like me, like a Mister Potato Head that I just like move you around. You have like a waxy uh, texture to your I face. Skin. I think it could be even late twenties. I'm going to be honest; it looks young. You, but, yeah, when I shave, yeah. Uh, no, I can see your age spots. Um. <sighs> Anyway, so anyway, <laughs> this bitch who's fifty five <laughs> decide who knows better. I had decided to do everything on one day, and I now, said, "Wait a minute, Jake." Now everything on one day. No, you did not say that until the very end when I said, "So the cable are coming." I just heard the cable are coming from eight until ten because of course. And I said, "Wait, Jake," thing. but the movers are coming at eight o'clock. How do you do that? I'm and like, he can went, you go over to my house? He's like, I don't know. <laughs> can you go over to? My-? So I. Have to go over at 7 a.m. or 7.30 a.m. to the 7.30. I'm there, and then, which is fine. I'm happy to do it. Well, not happy, but I'll do it. <laughs> and so 
I'm I'm there, and the Spectrum people show up to hook up the table. I met the, the guy who came there. He he was helping with the with the TiVo later. He walked in and said there was nothing in the apartment, <laughs> and he walked in and said, "Uh, yeah, uh." <laughs> Hey, boss man, which, by the way, I hate it when workers call me boss. Man. I know, but I it's a thing so that they do. It's, it's a, a thing. thing that people do. I know yep. they do it. I respect hey, boss. I hate it. it. Makes me feel like a white slave. I hate it. No, you um, are. Anyway, oh. he says, hey, boss man, if you want me to hook up the cable, you're going to need a I TV. Need a TV. <laughs> and I went. Oh. And when you said that, I went. Oh. And then I called Jake. I called Poodle and said, Poodle. Your TV's not here. And he went, oh. <laughs> and he said, that's fine. That's fine. I'll just reschedule it. But the fridge is coming soon. That'll be fine. Y'all, this bitch is going to say she doesn't remember this. I offered to measure for your fridge, and I offered to help you with your fridge. And I even suggested that And I did. I and did, you did measure it. Me. You denied I, no, I did, me I did every measure it. moment. I did measure it. I did measure it. I just did not measure every door and opening. As I know how to do, because my father's a plumber, and I moved this shit as a high school kid and hooked it up. When did this become a, I was right, diatribe? Let's move on. <laughs> like a week ago. It, but, uh, Here's so, the thing. Anyway, they move the fridge in. I, Guess what? Doesn't fit. And I say, you know what? This is an old place, you guys. Can we keep it as a loner? And the guy said, yes. I said, let's put Turns it in out, the dining room. You can't do great. that. They set it up. I was like, Poodle, you have a fridge that's not yours for a week. You're going to have to turn it. He was like, that's fine. That's fine. And then 30 minutes later, I hear knock, knock, knock. Hey, boss, ma'am. Again, calling me boss man. Hey, boss man, we got to take the fridge because they're not going to leave. And then I have to call Jake while movers are moving his apartment out. And he's already and texted me. I'm and pulling said, out my hair. <laughs> he's pulling out his hair and he said, the lead mover is so hot, I can't stand it. <laughs> and I'm pulling out my eyelashes, too. And like, I have to tell him that he's not going to have a fridge for a week. Yeah, I don't have a fridge. <laughs> Y'all, there's like two big igloo cooler. coolers <laughs> that, is keep, that is keeping my frozen food. <laughs> and not even frozen food. Like, I'm so fucking crazy that all the food that I've made, because all like the black bean soup, meatball soup that I've made, I'm like, no, that's not going to go bad. Because I was raised by my mother, who was raised by a depression era parent. And I'm like, I can't let my soup go bad. So I have to I have to keep it in a goddamn cooler and get three bags of ice every day. Every time I hear him go to his cooler to get ice to make a drink, <laughs> it feels like I'm on Lake Murray in Ardmore, Oklahoma, and somebody's about to get me a beer, but it's his apartment. You should have seen my neighbor staring at me as I rolled my cooler in and poured in. He's like, you don't have a refrigerator yet? I'm like, it's being delivered soon. <laughs> Isn't it being delivered on like April 7th? Wednesday. Yes. Because y'all Easter fucked me. <laughs> Let's hope that it fits. So you know what? That happened. The cable. And um, then that's fine. And then we decided, you know what? Even though I'm flying out this afternoon to go help my father's fake cancer, which by the way, I want to bring up, somebody left a review. <laughs> I normally don't talk about negative reviews. But somebody left a review. They did. I how, read it. I read it. How offended they were. <laughs> about, about me saying. Us, uh, me, no, me about saying, us talking about that. Yeah. And this is going to sound really crass, but I just want to say. It rolls off, off my back. I want to say fuck off. Yeah. Because this is about me processing and getting through the day to day of my own father's cancer. Yeah. This isn't about you. This is about no. me. This is personal. This is about me and how I deal with my dad's cancer. And it is I kind of relegating how you feel about cancer. And I de told my dad what we've said about this. And he's like, uh, and he said, well, you should tell Jake to come here when I fucking shit a river of shit. And we'll see how fake that is. And he laughed about it. Yeah. Well, he laughed I about mean, it. And so I just want to say, I, I, I don't mean to offend people by that. If you're offended by that, I just... Y'all, if you're offended by a lot of things, ask yourself, is this about me or is that what that person needs? Yeah. Right now, I need to laugh about those things 
That's what makes me feel normal. That's what makes me feel like I can get through these sometimes without getting emotional. Yeah. And so if you don't like that, that's fine. But and, shut up. I don't want to hear about it. Sorry and, if that and, sounds dismissive, but I don't. And from my perspective, I grew, up, I grew up trying to disarm things with really inappropriate humor because that's how I was brought up. And that's at every, how we both were brought up. At every funeral – um, in my it's family, hard. we told inappropriate stories. Because, we do this show, obviously, because we want to build community and right. we want people to like. But at the end of the day, y'all, it's Poodle and I and a mic entertaining one another. And just having fun, and yeah. And having fun, and this is what I need right now. So I hope it doesn't offend you, but if it does, that's not my monkey and it's not my circus. Yeah. And that's all I'm going to say If it about does that. offend you, maybe think about why it offends you first. It Think about yeah. you. It's not about me. Yeah, I just want to say that's that. fair. Yeah, but yeah, honestly, honestly, when people come for me like that, I never get upset by you because I don't give a shit. I never <laughs> get upset about a negative review. But that's the first negative review that actually hurt my feelings, and I never get upset. But that one bothered me. So the one the that, other people that said that other shit, that's fine. But I don't give a shit. But um, one anyway, called me preening once, and I went, "Yeah, that's accurate. That's accurate." <laughs> Another one called us disgusting dick pigs. And I went, yes, that's accurate. accurate. Yes. Yes. I'm not, um, I'm not going to disagree with you. Sex starved gay men. Yes. Yes. That's <laughs> accurate. <laughs> um, but Show so me it, sex starved gay uh, men. Ding, 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 ding. So anyway, y'all. Can we start the show? No, because we're not <laughs> fucking finished yet. Because. <laughs> then that afternoon, I'm flying out to, I have to go back to Houston. Y'all, I'm oh, literally that's right. At, I have to be at the airport by like 4.15. And we're trying to get and like two shows in. I come over to Poodle's house. The cable people are there. The apartment above him is being renovated because people <laughs> moved out. They're like sanding the wood floors. It's all this one. I finally have to get there. We have to do Mary Millions in like a 40-second window that we have. Yeah, it was pretty ridiculous. At um, one point, we were trying to do the po podcast in Poodle's bed, and he was laying on the bed, <laughs> and I was sitting there like I was reading I was like, Madame Bovary. Hello. <laughs> it was gross. Would anyway, you like to read to me? Drive, Pamela, drive! Drive, drive! <laughs> we drive, do need to work on Pamela, read, though. Someone just tweeted us and said, I need that ringtone. I can't be the only one. <laughs> that may um, be, that may need to be merch. Sorry, that's my, need to, my chair need to figure that. going across my tile. So, y'all, that was Poodle's move. It was a shit show. I told My Jake new place is he, really nice, though. I told him he cannot move for 10 years. <laughs> Because I can't deal with it. I don't want to move again. I'm I'm so he fucking hyper-emotional. <laughs> if he moves again, I'm going to Europe for a month. <laughs> the thing is, you thought you wanted to be a part of it, and then I brought you in, and you're like, holy fuck, I don't need to be here. <laughs> it's true. Because the last time you moved, I was moving too. Yes. So I was doing my own move. But true. this, boy, it was a witness. Mm. Who be a witness for, for my Lord? Who will be, be a witness for my, for my Lord? Lord? Anyway. Who will be a witness for my Lord? <laughs> Can we talk about the show? <sighs> if we must. <laughs> if we must. What do you Okay, um, now that we're now that we're done. No, uh, we're gonna go to the commercial all... and we'll be I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh my god, people <laughs> just screamed. Um uh so, what do you think about this season as a whole now? Um, uh, now that we're kind of done with it, we have tell all two tell alls. This you know what? I I liked it better than before the ninety days. Or what was the last one? Happily ever after is what we watched last time. Oh no, 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 no. We watched the other, other way. Last time. I liked it better than the other way. I kind of did. It's just so different. Um. I felt like they went a, l a really long way to make us like these really problematic people. I feel like this was the most manipulative season of 90 Ooh, Day Fiance. Yes. And, and I have to say it worked in some ways. Um, I want to say I, – I, I really ended up 
I have a sweet spot for Yari and Jovi Me now. Me too, and, I'm, and I I'm hate looking it. For, and I'm looking forward to see them on Happily Ever After. And I understand Jovi better, and I actually don't think he's a bad guy. He's uh, he's it's a man. Totally he's, he's a man child. He's a man child who's learning how to be a dad. But he's not um, a bad person. He's not a bad I will, person. I will say, I, I love never, Yara though. I have never looked forward more forward to a tell all ever. I think that's this. I think this I agree. could be one of the best tell alls we've had. Unfortunately, guess who's not on the tell all? Cool, cool. Cool, cool. Your wife, because she's so and Matt Sharp. <laughs> oh, Stephanie's not on it at all. Nope. I didn't think nope. about that. I got I I got to sue him. I was, I was promised lots of sip. Well, yeah, that's for her to yeah. sort out. So. But yeah, the Andrew and Amira stuff is going to get real. It's going to be real. Yara and Jovi will get Mike real. Mike and Natalie. Mike and Natalie is going to be all over the place. I'm sure there'll be Julia stuff. Um, Yeah, it's going to get real. So what the way we're going to do the episode, we're going to talk about 90 Day Fiance, and then we're going to bookend it very quickly with Jovi and Yara. With some Jovi Yara baby special. Now, I will say, there are no Alexi and Lauren. There's not a lot of unfettered access because neither of these people are that forthcoming to the camera. So we're not going to talk about that for very long. But, you know, there's a lot of Mama Jovi and Papa Jovi in there because we're going to talk about crawfish pie. Booty, and you're gonna have a long yap. <laughs> but I love kind of Mama Jovi. Oh, me too. No, I think she's a great mom. That they really they Daddy Jovi, I think drinks too much, but that's fine. <laughs> Every time we see him, he has a drink in his hand. He he likes his beer. <laughs> Likes his beer. But so do, we, just, so do we. From as within. we as I'm drinking <laughs> Kate Hudson vodka. You know what? You've been moving. I have to get through this. All right. Should we talk about um, Joby and Yara first? Yes. Yeah, so, y'all, they're going to go. So, Yara is meeting Kelly, who's doing their makeup and hair. And I love that she says, I'm so much nervous. I'm so much nervous. It's just so much that's, nervous. It's just it's when you, when, you, when you see these people from other countries, you guys, you notice that – English grammar as a concept is not universal. And a lot of times English grammar, which is very, very, very much closer to German and Germanic languages and uh, Russian and Ukrainian, all those are Slavic languages, which, which like are similar to uh, romance languages, which, which how they have the modifiers are in different places. So that's why it's funny to you. <laughs> I think it's interesting. Like there's I am one, so much. There's one of, there's we, we, like one of our sissies who's like, oh, oh yes, poodle, Professor Poodle. I enjoy that oh, comment yeah, as yeah. well. Yeah. Well, it's um, kind of like how uh, Carolina from Carolina Fernando says, "I have scared," which which is the like in other words, you that's the helping verb. I have helping fear. Verb. Yes, um, I think it's interesting. No one else does. <laughs> Moving on. Moving, I think they should do another 90 day spinoff of 90 day throwbacks. I still think they should. I forgot that they had been together for two years, by the way. I, Jovi and Yara, yeah, yeah I do too. So, really, you can't feel sorry for either one of them because they knew what they're, they knew what they're getting. Y'all, Jovi wants to fuck up and Yara likes to bitch. That's yeah, yeah. They're they are the they're one of the saltiest couples with one another, and that's how they deal they're with one on, another. They're Andre and Elizabeth. Kind of, that, but, but they are that di- they are that dynamic, but less mean. But true, and they're less. They're a little more dry than Andre and Elizabeth are. Or sorry, well, they're also, they're a little more dry than Andre. And Elizabeth. I think Yara and Jovi are better people than Andre and Elizabeth. Well, Andre has anger issues, and Elizabeth will sell our soul for money. No, I think. Elizabeth needs to have some kind of drama in her life to keep things going. Elizabeth Possibly. lives her life. Elizabeth is an actress, so she lives her life like it's in front of the camera. What are we going to do one day if we end up meeting these people? Uh, I'll crazy. say, hey, I love your season. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, how I talk to all the, the – re- like, Hey, I loved your season. By the way, y'all, I just got a text, um, so I'll make an announcement as well. I don't know if Poodle even knows. 
Y'all, Poodle's been too busy, and I emailed our rep at Cameo, and I've paused his Cameos for the week. So <laughs> I'm going to... I, I have... Poodle's I have, not doing Cameos this week. It's do, too much for I him. have two more, so I guess I'll just do You'll those do when I can. You'll do two more. Do those when you can, and then okay. you're paused for the week. Yeah, I've, I've been... Poodle's like a wild horse, y'all. I have to ride up to him on a thoroughbred and then jump on him and tame him and then get him in a field I can't and just be pet tamed. him. And just pet him. So he goes... And then you gotta feed me a goddamn carrot. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that was visual for people watching this on the video. <laughs> By the way... This is, we are filming this video, y'all. If you're on the $15 tier on our Patreon. And I'm just our, like right in front of your bed, which is gross. That's Reality Gay's intimate portrait. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me of just a one quick announcement, y'all. We realized for More? some of our, uh, for some of our Patreon, not super cast sissies, but for some of our gay trends, the $15 tier hasn't been working as far as videos for people with Android phones. It's Android that's a, and, and, that's and a Vimeo. And it's Google a Vimeo update that yeah. has nothing to do with us. However, we are we trying are to get to the bottom trying of it. to email them and get to the bottom of it. So it, it's nothing to do with us. Hopefully it will be fixed. If you had not updated your apps, we suggest I, that you do Google how to do that. I wish out. we could snap our fingers and rectify this with Patreon because it's even it's not even pa- it's not even Patreon's issue. Um, it seems so. For once, yeah. So anyway, so jo- so now Monty is with Jovi, and Jovi's like, Papa jo- Jovi, shall you gonna hand me a Bud Light? I need to go have a little drinky drinky before the wedding wedding. And Papa Crawfish Jovi says, pie, I- gumbo. Filet gumbo. <laughs> Papa Jovi's like, are you nervous? And Jovi said, Jovi is really kind of sweet. I'm kind of nervous. I'm kind of like, nervous, I'm kinda nervous. I really want to just get married. He's like, I want to get it over with in the nicest possible way. I just want to get it done. And I wrote it, down, Jovi's head is so rectangular. <laughs> it is. <laughs> His um, Howard the Duck resemblance will never, will never get past never. me. Never. But Jovi even says, I'm ready to prove that I can be a husband and that I'm ready to be a father. And I actually think, um, I think he's going to be a good dad. No, he's, he's, he's ready to grow up. Like he met, he met his match. He met, and even though his friends say, yeah, Jovi's just an asshole. He met someone who will call him out on his asshole behavior and who, and who will reprimand him for that and who, who will fight for control with him. And that's I what Yara does. Jovi could not have married a woman here because he did need to meet Yara. He did. Like that yeah. is a woman. And by the way, so then we see Yara comes out of the bathroom to show Gwen her wedding look. I gasped. She looks like a pageant Priscilla queen. Presley. She looks like Priscilla Presley. She looks like a pageant That queen dress. Bride. It is. This is. <laughs> I, we were. I was shaken by it. How beautiful hair, it was! It's like Gal Gadot and Wonder Woman, where it's just like okay. Not kind everything of is Wonder Woman. No, no, but it no. is kind of feathered, like eighties hair. It, it was. It, it was like kind of retro. Her look. It is. She is one of the most beautiful brides in ninety f- day fiance history. Uh, she and it was. It's not traditional at all, but she looked so good. It's so Vegas yeah. and glam. And it was back, kind of like the back was cut out and the makeup was on point. And the dress fit like a, gl- it was like, y'all, we just re- were recapping season. We just finished, uh, at least what we're all finishing up season three. Finishing season to, three. Yeah. We're about to start happily ever after, but y'all, we were shocked and awed by Lauren's wedding dress. Oh right yeah. It, it was gorgeous. Day. And the whole One wedding was wonderful. We've ever seen. And this, and the dress that we hated that Melanie wore, she changed her dress. That's all we got to say. She did change her ass, dress. Sorry, her I said ass. ass. She I, her changed ass. her ass. I changed her ass because I'm reading my notes. And Yara said she saw Jovi and she went, oh, wait a minute. He does have good ass. This guy has so good ass. Mm, I never paid attention poodle, to that. That's Poodle Autobiography, Volume 6. This Jovi, guy has Jovi, so good ass. Me, why don't you show me your ass, Jovi? Uh, don't show me your ass now. Y'all, Mama Jovi is helping uh, Yara with her dress because her family's not there. And she says, oh, Yara, you look so beautiful, Yara. 
I just love her when they say, you can always hear, it's always married and Yara. It's always kind of that, that Cajun. That. Yeah. Married. Um, Y'all, Mama Jovi starts crying. She's getting emotional about she's, this. She's, I, I, I think she's grown to love Yara. I think she, she loves yeah. Yara. And I will say, she's like, I'm glad. She's like, I, no, I don't have to deal with Jovi no more. <laughs> I, I, yeah, she's like, he's free. She got him now. <laughs> Not mine. I, I just, I, this is what I do love about 90 Day Fiance is that I love it when the families, it's kind of like Alexi and Lauren, or um, I'm trying to think of other families where they accept. I think when, as I'm saying this, I realize it's probably because I'm gay and I'm so grateful that my family accepted me and my partner who's black. And it's always makes me feel good. And, and I'm, I'm actually very excited for you one day when you do marry your 70 year old husband. <laughs> and, no, but I am because. And my mother, my mother goes, God, he's old. But but she'll still accept him, you because you haven't done that yet. You haven't brought home someone to your family, but mm-hmm. to see a family accept someone who they didn't think you should end up being with is such a beautiful thing for me. No, I, I get I love that. that, and it's such like the true one one of the true kind of definitions of unconditional love. I get that. I don't know if you can equate the two. I think they just live in two different worlds of. Because Joby's family would have a much harder time accepting a man with him. They're not this. They're not. No, no, no. I'm not saying that they're the same thing. Yeah. But I'm just saying there are similarities. Of, no, they're, of, they're, you're right. I'm just of accepting of what we didn't. Because parents imagine children's have a, children have a certain life. Right. No, no, I agree with you. Um, I like just think your that- father thought you were going to end up being their church organist at the Methodist <laughs> church. And married to a woman named Kayla. I just, no, I'm just saying, I and don't. That didn't happen. I don't want to just make this all about our worldview. Um, no, I'm, but no, but I'm saying my world, I'm a human and my worldview colors it. So right. that's what I'm saying. I think that's why it's so touching to me when families accept people who, you know, uh, they end up marrying. No, I agree so, with you. It's a Kate Hudson vodka talking. No, but I'm just saying, I think there's a there's a longer road to for oh for, for sure that. yeah for sure that's just because what i want to acknowledge joe no i i get what you're saying jovi marrying yara is not against god's will and in the bible yes so not that i don't think that's true but i'm just but no but i'm saying i i, I was just but making i'm saying sure. there's a similarity of there's a similarity you know, but it's not an equivalency i'm just but i'm I'm truly like it. It almost even makes me emotional the fact that when you do bring home a man, yeah, your, your tongue's brother, get thick, and your brother meets him, and your mom and your dad, and they all laugh with him and they have fun with him. It will be a new level of comfortability. So you're making you this all know. about you and me. You Lame. know what? This is me being vulnerable and being emotional and you can't accept that. No, I'm but I I'm, I'm I'm thinking that's a great thing. I'm saying let's not make it all about you. I'm just saying this show makes me want people to get married. I want you to find love poodle. Uh I need to check out their bank account first. I just can't take care of you when you're old. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're going to get real you're going to old before me. I'm going to take care of myself. I'll be a floating head in a tank. <laughs> I need to. Um so uh basically they're 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 on their way to the chapel. Uh this is gonna be the full on Elvis wedding. Oh, and wow. she's still she's still basic, basically saying, I hope he changes. However, um Elvis Because so th- he does go out and have a drink with friends. Th- this that's is like no, this such- is not there yet. We're not there yet. That's When's later. That? Oh, that's in the You're drunk festival. already. Oh god. Kate Hudson vodka. Can I can I can I do Poodle's moving? I'm stressed. Uh so Elvis is marrying them, you guys. And he's singing Amazing Grace as they're walking down the aisle. Oh, my and, and I wrote Amazing down Grace. The when he was doing like the vows, Elvis the preacher is super compelling. He's like, thank you very much. You've been I, here. I, I was that too. I was totally into it. I kind it was of really good. I would totally get married by Elvis now. Oh my God. 
That's exactly how you're going to get married. Oh, I, I think exactly it's great. Exactly how you're going to because it you're kind of married, mocks the institution as well. You're going to get married at the Cosmopolitan by Elvis, and your mom's going to say, "God, God, Jaybird, you did that. <laughs> Jaybird, uh, you did that. It wasn't even a I real church, it. Jaybird. You got married by Elvis. Never would have thought my son got married by Elvis. <laughs> cool. But you know what? It could have been worse. Did he sing Auld Lang Syne? <laughs> Love me tender, love, love me true. true. Let me be all you. Um. So, y'all. First of all, I also have to say this vows. The ceremony was so fast. I loved it. That's always the way it should be. You don't need some preacher doing a fucking sermon. That's their time. I know that there's like nuptial masses and stuff like that. Damn. It's, I, it's the I, 21st century. We don't need that. I appreciated that it was short. Yeah. I appreciated that it was just, and also, I don't think they have a ton of money. And I appreciated that it was just them having this wedding ceremony. Yara was looking away. She was really trying not to cry. You could tell. Yeah. And she did a good job. And then they had the reception at this brewery. And do we, we need to talk go. about the people who were at this wedding. I don't know if these were extras. But there was like we need to talk about Aunt Francine, who was in a wig that I would wear. She um, was. Aunt Francine, Jovi, I'm so happy that you are married. Oh, um, and but Aunt Francine was with some guy in like a biker costume. It was strange. Um, and then Sarah Klein's wife was like, you know what? Maybe they'll be married in a year and a day. And okay, he's like, what Sarah? do you mean? What do you mean? And she was a shady bitch till the like, day. I, she said, I researched it. And I was like, bitch, maybe say this the day after their wedding. Oh, <laughs> you know. Um. Anyway, so they're going to stay in Vegas in a couple days. I think that's it for them. That's it. We're going to talk about their baby special later. Yes. But uh, we should probably take a break. Jump into Mike and Natalie. But before we do that, we're going to take a break and we'll be right back. Y'all, in in the time of the commercial break, <laughs> Poodle now said he's not only feverish, but he's having sweat. It's true. And I chill. am. This is like a gayer version of La Traviata about to play <laughs> out in the middle of this podcast. Oh, I'm going to stop singing La Traviata now. <laughs> um, we... Do you remember when we saw Renee Fleming oh. sing that role? Oh. oh, When she laid down and sung like the high A's. Am I? She laid down on a chaise and went. <laughs> <laughs> and we both went. And I felt myself become a woman <laughs> in that moment. <laughs> I kind of want to make videos where we watch opera. And I think people would get more interested in opera if they watched us reacting to opera. I think that's a great idea. Um, I, I would love that. Or it just us. But we have to be going to live opera and then me grab your hand. <laughs> That's what happened during Travi. Poodle grabs my. I'll just be sitting there. He grabs my hand. And he goes, oh, oh. Um, please tell me if I'm delayed. It looks like I'm delayed here, but that's okay. I think you're fine. Let's talk about Mike and Natalie. Mike I think and Natalie. Mike is delayed in his choices to get married. Okay. For for everything I've said about this storyline, um. That this was how it ended seemed extremely anticlimactic. Yes, it was so just like today we're going to get married. But la so last episode it was drive, camera drive, 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 camera drive, 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 drive. That was, the, was that was I mean, just I one episode ago. 
I, two episodes ago, oh. one episode ago, you said this was one of the most compelling moments of not. I know, ever, and then they ever. did this to us, and now we're here. It's interesting. And now we're here. And now, and now we're here. Don't drink, don't drink, guzzle that Kate Hudson vodka so early. I can handle it. You can't. Ooh. Oh, yeah? No, stop it. My hair's bad. Uh, Y'all, I'm having, I bought a bottle of King Street vodka because I'm in Houston and I needed it. So, um, um, so it's the last day of Natalie's visa. The last day. And, and Mike has decided. And Mike is like, mm, well. Mm, he's like flipped mm, a coin, mm, rolled a dice. Mm. Flipped a Yahtzee piece. Uh, his foreskin, his foreskin pulled back <laughs> all the way today, and he went. This is a day. I to guess get we're going to get married. Mm. I don't we're know. Married. Um, and mm. Tamara is there, and she's like, "I wasn't sure if it was going to happen, but um, didn't know. But <laughs> didn't know. But you were going to." But you happy? But did I? Uh, I saw they get there now. Ah, ooh, ah, I thought, woo, let's get married. And uh, Nally walks out in her kind of white dress that she brought here. It wasn't like her wedding dress, and which she looks good. But I, she's like, this wasn't a new dress. And I said, it is. It wasn't the best dress. It wasn't. Also, this is her third wedding. That we have to go full on Rebecca here. This that was Rebecca's fifth yeah. wedding. Um, this is third wedding. This y'all. is her third wedding. Do you need to buy a dress? Do you need to buy a really fancy dress for your third wedding? Maybe you do. I don't know. Maybe you buy J. Crew and don't <laughs> tell anybody about you it. You can wear a nice pantsuit. A lot of sissies have sent us like when they got married oh, in I pants. Love y'all. Oh, I love it when women get married in pantsuits. I love it. I would get married in pants. I love it. <laughs> oh, I would get married in a dress. I know you would, and I—I I feel like pant- actually I would love to get married in a kilt. Pants suit me. No kilt. It's just, that's just too basic. Um, it's my hair. No, you're trying. I don't like it. Yeah, you need to tell me some meanings of Scottish phrases before you say it's your heritage. There's a there's a Mar Castle in Scotland. Uh, then you need to be able to speak some uh. You need you need to know a little bit more than just say it's my heritage. You know what? Don't note my calves look good in a kilt. We, Is that reason? That's enough? reason enough. But we we have to keep going because you're already slurring and you're not allowed any more Kate Hudson vodka. That, we're using Kate Hudson this week. Um. So uh, Tamara says you're beautiful, Natalie, and she says I know. <laughs> well, actually. No, no, no. We're not glancing over oh, that. No. I'm going to take my shorts no. off because they're too hot, tight. And, and people. No, 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 no. You can't do. Can't don't show anything. your underwear. Please don't do this. No, I'm just taking off my shorts. They're too tight. I got to unbutton my fly. Y'all, this is what happens when she drinks a little bit. If you think I'm bad. Yeah, as you guzzle from your solo cup. Y'all, because you forgot, we already talked about and I said. When it comes to Natalie and Tamara, guess what? We're doing a reality gaze. <laughs> oh, I'm so fast with those. Okay. And I'll be playing the role of Tamara. Poodle will be playing the role of Natalie. And sing. Oh. Oh. I see you're getting ready. Look pretty. Yeah, thank you. Pretty. I know. I know. It's been a long. It's been a long weekend. That drive. Woo. That drive in my Subaru almost killed me. I had to clean out so much stuff in my yes, car. Yes, there were there were so took many. Me, there were, took me to load that back in. There were so many beanie babies to move out of the yes. car. Yes. Yeah, my friend. Since my kids moved out, there, there was a stroller. There was a stroller. Yes. Imaginary baby. Strangely enough, there was a a bird bath, which I did not really understand. It's for them flying squirrels. I like to bathe them. They're the cute little pets. This is turning yeah. into porn granny, and I don't enjoy it. <laughs> don't know. Not familiar. <laughs> <laughs> well done. 
Um, I don't know what else you want to say about this one. uh, (laughs) uh, Oh, it's white dress. It's pretty. Yes, I've had it before. I've had it before. Oh, it's you. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. I know. I know. We've gone through this. Tamara, 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 drive! Take us away! We're not driving anywhere. It's outside. Are you nervous? Are you nervous? I am, Why I am nervous. I'm a, I'm, Why are your eyes red, Natalie? I've been crying, and I've also been drinking. Well, she bad your mom couldn't come. Yes, I, have, I nice. have told her that we are getting married. So just, when you get married, when you get done, are you going to do a honeymoon? Do I need a... I've got a, I've got a, a, a pack of uh, Boy Scout popcorn in the back for my grandson. He's selling them. Do you want some Boy Scout popcorn? It's the best. No, popcorn Tamara, you know. thank you. Okay. I, I, I still got a, tri- I tried a tricycle Tamara. for my cousins. I can move it all out. Just tell me if you need me to move it. Um, <laughs> Tamara, I got some ice skates from my hockey league. Tamara, if they can stay, that'd be helpful. Tamara, yes. As much as I yes. uh, enjoy your company, yes. I will not talk to you after Mike and I are married. I hope you understand. And <laughs> see. Y'all see I the fact that the that fact that him. Natalie has to deal with uh Tamara as her like best uh maid of Woman, honor slash and, yeah. slash witness is sad. Um and, and y'all I, I it was just I also want to say that I wrote down this is so fucking sad. This is like watching a whole wedding of someone or a, a gathering of people who who smell like dog shit and they're looking around like does anyone else smell dog shit? <laughs> yeah. It's like Lisa's wedding to Usman. Does anyone else smell dog shit? That's what this wedding was like. It, no, you know what? It wasn't that bad. <laughs> I thought it was. I, I, Lisa, Lisa and Usman's oh. wedding was maybe the no, worst that was wedding. Bad shrimp. That was happy. everyone who had bad shrimp who was a guest there. Bad shrimp. Bad shrimp. Yeah. So they end up getting married kind of on. On the property. This, um, He's got a blue shirt on. She's on got property. her white. She's got her white dress on they, with tennis shoes. They turned the fountain on in the lake. Yeah. Stuff's going. So they're getting married. Um, I thought the vows for their wedding were really it was did a producer write these vows? Because these vows were so specific to them. They were better when like when the when the officiant said, So marriage is about forgiveness, right, Natalie? I was like, what? <laughs> I've never y'all. I've never heard okay, that before at a wedding either. As you, as a musician who's been to a million weddings, have you ever heard? No, that? I have not. This felt like very, very specific wedding vows. Um, yeah. Also, this efficient y'all is like a druid priestess. <laughs> there's, there's no doubt this woman has gotten people married in the Church of Trees. Um, For sure, yeah. Uh, For sure. I also want to say that when they they did say, finally, I do, you kind of heard this earth shattering, like loud noise <laughs> that was that was Natalie's butthole finally unclenching. <laughs> <laughs> Like we're talking two years of clenching, y'all. <laughs> All right, enough, enough drunk Kate Hudson clenching, farting. Um, <laughs> and y'all, she when he said "I do," like her butthole unclenched, her, her face, her face dropped. <laughs> she was just like, "Go!" It was something. It was something. Um. And Bojangles was there, and he's like, <laughs> I haven't shed a few tears. Uh, I haven't said, okay, Bojangles wore a wife beater to this 
wedding. It was though. a clean wife beater. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he what are you going to say? He wore tank top and he wore this tank top and Bay Jingle said, you got me in a tiny knot. Um, it's awesome. And Tamara, they get married and they kiss and Tamara's like, let's dance and celebrate. We're going to party. And then... And then, like, Bojangles and Tamara start this cacophony of, like... <laughs> animal sounds. Of, wow! Of animals of, woo, 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 Tamara just starts saying... Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. All of a sudden, Ooh, it was yeah. just barnyard yeah. noises. Woo, yeah. For them having like sex. Rooting, rooting them on for Bojangles was like, oh, yeah. We're yeah. going to make some babies. Yeah. And that is like, maybe we will wait to have babies. <laughs> yeah, it was a fun, it was a fun wedding. Not. <laughs> it was quite sad. It was cat. Now. I mean, that's basically it. And they end up having, however, this is, I don't know if this is going to be talked about in the tell all, but as a spoiler alert, I know Melanated Way um, has, but they're reported to be divorced now, right? Uh, yes. Supported, su- supposedly. Supposedly? Supposedly. But, um, but they've been together for, they were together, married for a year and then divorced. Yes. That's. So does that mean Natalie would still qualify for, green card status or no uh yeah, a year as long as they're married a year and a day who knows and she's been making videos with jeffrey oh god what a nightmare and and all those weird sushi videos and the all the stuff y'all okay so i want to move on to andrew and amira but before we do that i just you know how there's that saying, there's the elephant in the room? Uh, Yeah, usually I refer to you as that, but yeah. yeah. Usually I say the bitch in the hen closet, and that's you. Um, I don't know what a hen closet is, but that's fine. I, I um, just want to point out that um, there's someone, I'm looking, there's someone sitting in Poodle's apartment right now. I, you know is, what? I've I been think, wondering why she was here. Who, who's, who's been drinking a? Is, is She's drinking been a drinking Bud Molson's. Lime. No, Molson's. I, no, she likes the Canadian I beers. See, um, we have actually the wedding photographer. This is a ninety a reality gaze exclusive. Uh, come on in. Uh, we have the wet. We have the wedding photographer of Mike and Natalie's wedding that is here today. Um, uh, yeah. Poodle, go pee. All go right, pee. I'll be back. Poodle, I'll be back. Take, go take. Um. <laughs> I'll do this. And everybody, we have Dee Dee Rivette is actually the town uh, wedding photographer. She's here yeah, today. I, I, uh, it's, it's good to be here. Um, I, I took a, uh, I, I, took, I, I took a flight it. to Los Angeles and boy, are my arms tired. Um, yeah. Dee Dee, that's a really good know, joke. Uh, this one, this one's got a, uh, this one's here's got a new, um, uh, a new apartment here, and Dee Dee, how did you know? How did you know where he lived? Uh, you know, I I uh, I looked on. You know, you're familiar with the app Grinder, um, and I just saw yeah. where all the traffic was, and it turns out it was in this apartment, uh, and that's how I knew because that's what that's what he told me. So you know, so I came here, and I'm looking, uh, I'm looking around, and. It's it's kind of a nice place, you know. Um, but I just want to tell you about my. Uh, I was actually uh, Dee Dee Rivette vid- videography. Interest- I'm I'm less interested in your travels and more interested of what was it like to film the video for this wedding. You know, I hate to tell you, but my travels are part of my business, so I'm gonna get needed to get it on the ad. This is an ad, right? This is an ad that I paid for. No, I paid for your goddamn ad. Oh, I'm no. sorry. I've been drinking. Sorry. There, That's there, the third Dini, Molson sitting, makes me take the name. Lord, name, 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 the name. Corner Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, Reform Lutheran. Um. Uh. So, what did you think about the wedding ceremony? You know, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. 
Uh, they did their best. Um, she was kind of sitting there. She kind of looked like a Greek girl. Uh, but she's a lot wider than a Greek girl. You know, there's a lot of Greek girls who worked for me for a while at over the, under the fence, over the fence. And, you know, April and her daughter Coco always work better than they did. You know, they're always making like all types of souvlaki and stuff. Um, do you, do you like souvlaki? Uh, you know, it's okay. I would prefer a steak, really. Uh, I, you know, Didi, Didi likes American stuff. Didi would prefer, I like a good hamburger with ketch, ketch, ketchup. Uh, you know, I, I, it's very good. Uh, you know, Did, so what, now, what you know, you, you, know, you know, what's American? Ketchup is American. Ketchup. What, but you, you know, you can't get ketchup about? in Europe. You, you asked for it and I was there before and they, and you asked for ketchup and they, and you're asking like you're asking Didi, for the Didi, Lord's wait, wait, forgiveness. Didi, where did you go in Europe? You know, I went to London one time. I was on a layover. Uh, it was a long flight. It was like a I had to go from uh, Squim to London to Prince Edward Island. It was a really long. It was a weird layover. Oh. Did you go to any? Uh, did you because you know that book Anne of Green Gables was written there? Did you, you just hiccup? <laughs> I did hiccup. I did hiccup. Uh, not familiar. Not familiar. Anne of Green Gables. Sounds like a communist rag to me. Have, All the gables you, are equal. Yeah, no thank you. So what did you think of the um the what did you think of the wedding? Did you know, you know, they out? tried. You know, they, they had the they had the fountain going up there and uh uh they had uh beautiful you know and i had i had two or three guys i had april had my girl april working but you know she's had a methamphetamine addiction uh but she brought uh, her daughter coco and coco was helping to film with the other phone camera you know i found that in the um i found that in the in the pandemic so called pandemic i should say uh, I found that in the pandemic that uh, uh, we don't we, we we can just shoot with phones and it's fine. You know, I can still provide a beautiful yeah. wedding for anybody who wants it. And, you know, I will say that was the guy that was the fellow who was in the corner who was like, you know, what? I got to say he's looking really fine. Uh, he looks just kind of like my oh. my 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 ex husband Edwin before he died, mysteriously of completely natural causes. So, do you feel like the reception for this wedding was it at was it at over the thing? You know, I was never really invited to the reception. As far as I knew, they went ahead and danced in the woods, and someone shot off fireworks and opened up a barrel of beer. And poured it on someone's head. Uh, it's a very squim way to have a wedding. Uh, you know, I will say, over the fence has Which, got over the fence has got wedding favors, wedding COVID wedding favors, which are you know disposable cameras. We got we got ten ninety nine disposable cameras, three for ten ninety nine. You you could take those to your nearest. Buy those. Still. You can take those to your nearest Revco. Didn't know people still buy those. And I didn't know Revco was the thing. Here, I'm finishing my last Molson. You know, I got to go. Uh, I got to go to some place called Thai Town because that's where my Uber is uh, or that's where my Uber's taking me. And uh, uh, it sounds a little exotic to me, but I'm still going to go there. God damn. Uh, I got to say, this place is nice, but um, really happy to be getting out of Los Angeles. It's godless. Didi out. Oh God, <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, I've got to say, that was super offensive. <laughs> I have... <laughs> I I have the worst case of hiccups right now, and I don't know if it's because <laughs> Didi is so offensive or because I drank an aha and it's very bubbly. Aha! What the fuck is an aha? It's this drink right here. It's just like a Lacroix. Oh, I need to wash my hair. 
You know, I want to say I want to miss Dee Dee Vervet, but I don't think I am. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to either. <laughs> She's just so awful. Uh, she she represents just the worst parts of society. <laughs> yeah. Um, should we talk about Andrew and Amira? Please. I'm a little I'm in begging. Awe. I'm a little in awe of what happened. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about Andrew and Amira. Mm. Let's discuss it. So, um we are Andrew is meeting uh his mom and sister Connie. Um Connie. and he's still being creepy and saying, Can I offer can I offer you some hand sanitizer? Um, and he's like, you know, all these things I did with my apartment and Amira is not coming. What did he do with his apartment? He like hung some signs on the wall and that's it. A mermaid lives here with the catch of her life. (laughs) He did nothing like, I mean, and the mom, boy, she's, I mean, mom does not know half of the story. So a lot of people are coming on social media for the mom and saying she's terrible and she's a piece of shit. She Y'all, doesn't know mom. the story. Yeah. She's doing what my mom would do. She's yeah, doing she's defending you. Yeah. No, she has no idea of what you texted her. The the bullshit you said to her. Like, she has no idea of that. Right. Totally. None at all. Are you messaging someone on Grinder right <laughs> no, now? No, someone was texting me. We're a hot mess. You're texting someone. And you're I, drunk. Y'all, you're I, I'm drunk. not drunk at all. Yes, I'm you not are. All, but Listen to how thick your tongue ca- is. I'm not drunk, but I have the worst case of hiccups right now. <laughs> and I, I, it's driving me crazy. It's all reflux, and it's something like it's dis- all it's something reflux. disturbing you need to get fixed in your body. God forbid, I've said it before. Um, Andrew and Amira, finally. Um, do you think uh, he, boy, talk about someone who's a good actor, who's protesting too much. It's like, yeah, it's over. You know, I did what I could. I just don't know what to think now. You know, she's just, it just wasn't meant to be. And and the mom is like, you know, I I just tried the best we could, and I don't I don't think she really had an anxiety attack. And the sister says, "This is interesting, Connie. Connie, by the way, do you? When is the last time you knew someone who was twenty eight years old and named Connie? <laughs> it's true. I agree with you. I I, I don't." I don't know anybody um, under the age of 47. All I can think of Connie. is uh, a chorus line and Connie. <laughs> um, it's a very dated name. So she says, you know, I just think you're a little, I don't know. You move through the stages of grief really fast. And Andrew's like, what? And, she, and she's like, I mean, really, what happened? Did you do more? So Connie is roasting him on the That's spit. The- Connie, you know what? Connie Why knows Andrew. Involved? It's because Andrew is a sociopath. Yeah. And he is dictating what he wants the emotion to be from the other person. Exactly. And Connie is calling. Basically, Connie is having that thing in her ear whisper say, Connie, this doesn't make sense. Right. This, this doesn't seem, this does not make sense from everything you've been told. Right. Whereas the mother is like, Andrew's amazing. I'm going to believe my son. No matter what, I believe my son. Connie is like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why did Nor- normal people don't get over we, that? And also this quick, we haven't heard, we haven't heard about you fighting. Uh, are is there something you're not telling us? And yes, there was a lot. He wasn't telling you like all the texts that we saw on Amira's phone saying that five, four, about- three, two, one. I'm going to leave you now. Why won't you have kids with me? It's, it's, 
bazonkers to me that if this is complete sociopath behavior, I know a sociopath, I don't, he's not in my life anymore, but I know someone who is basically saying all the shit that he did to this person, he is now going to like, Oh yeah, it's disgusting. He's so saying that that was done to him. And Andrew is saying the same thing by Andrew is saying that, um, Oh, I I was talking to her and then suddenly she just turned cold and distant and it was like a different Amir. Yeah, he's that's exactly what happened to Andrew. Yeah, he's looking at Amir. He brought up kids and totally switched on her and became this horrible human being. And I really believe he tried to sabotage this relationship. Um, oh, for he because he Andrew, could not control goal, her. The goal of Andrew, if he can't control you, then he wants to be the martyr and talk and, about what a piece of and shit. he also he even said. Uh, he's like, you know, I just feel a profound sense of defeat. And the thing is, he wasn't winning. He wasn't winning. Exactly. He didn't have as, her wrapped as he around. Said, like two, two or yes, two or three episodes ago. Remember, he said, "I failed." Yeah. So if if he did not have the perfect uh, caper or the perfect um tr- her trip to the US and with a, a woman who depended on everything he said that's not it for him and he was going to make it go away and that's exactly what happened <clears throat> that's because a sociopath wants to control yeah. the emotional situation and 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 they want to sabotage it so that way they seem the martyr Y'all, it is classic. He's it's classic. he's one of the worst, uh, definitely one of oh. the worst men we've ever seen on Night of Fiance. Ugh. Wow! And for someone who's a sociopath, the worst thing for a sociopath is to be called out on what they've done, right? Cause they because they will never admit it. All, because this has all been filmed, it's all documented what he's done and how he's treated Amir. Oh, but he will like he's having a fight with David right now from David and Annie. Uh, yes. like every everyone. Tiffany came for Tiffany yeah, came. Everyone. Shoulders McGee came Shoulder, for him. And I love Shoulders it. McGee came for him. My one of my favorite things is a meme that says when you want to get vaccinated but it's cold out and has a picture of Tiffany <laughs> with those shoulders cut out. <laughs> you know who did that? Dolly Parton. God bless. Um. When Dolly Parton got vaccinated, she got vaccinated with Moderna, and she literally had the cutout. So uh, what do you think when Amira says um, – do, do you think – this is one she's thing – She's back in Paris. Yeah, she's back in Amira's Paris. back in Paris. Amira chopped her hair off because normally she's got a full head of hair. And when she I think she just took the extensions out. Yeah, that's probably true. Um, so she's back in France. Uh, she's in her childhood home. <laughs> Uh, and she says, I was wrong. I can't believe I ever did that. She's staying with her dad. Um, and the the great thing, you guys, is she's going to finish her degree. She says she's going to be an independent woman. She's going to not find – she's not going to rely on any man for anything. My great. My biggest issue is what kind of sick person starts unpacking as soon as they arrive at their house? Who does that? You don't do that? Oh, I do that. No. No that's one does you, that. No, that's what you do. Yeah, you No one does that. You you're you're incorrect. How long does it take you to unpack? Like three days and then I unpack my suitcase. That's too long. That's too no. long. Wait. Okay, so you walk in you're... after flying after flying there on the plane and you uh-huh. unpack your suitcase. I maybe take an hour to sit. And like chill out, and then I unpack my suitcase. Yeah, who does that? No, that's weird. That's weird. A lot, a lot of people. That's weird. The fact that you wait three days to unpack three days. your suitcase is this is someone who's a who's a borderline hoarder. Three days, three days, three days. It sits Although there. I have to say, after that move, you got rid of a lot of shit. I did. No, you're sick if you unpack the day of. There's something wrong with you. I disagree. I disagree. I think if you unpack three days afterwards. You need to learn to face things. Even how about a day? How about a day after? Is that okay? A day I'm fine with. A day I'm fine with. Do you but really? You three days. Do you really unpack the day of? 
nor usually the day of or the maybe the morning after. Like we'll get home, we'll go to bed, and that morning I'll I will. I'm gonna hold you to that. If I ever see you not unpacked, I'm oh my boyfriend. No, ask him. It's true. I do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna put it on social media. If I ever find out you haven't been, please do. Yeah, tweet it. For uh, me, it's like two Snapchat days later. Snapchat it. Uh, what's that room? What's that room everybody goes to right now? Uh, Clubhouse. What's that? So go to Clubhouse and say, "Y'all don't go to Clubhouse. <laughs> We're not on Clubhouse." I am, but I just refuse to look at it. I, I don't understand Clubhouse. I don't want to understand any more things. It's a lot. It's a lot. Um, so she's going to be. I don't want to be on Twitter anymore. She's going to be an independent woman, y'all, which I'm really happy. All the women, All the women independent. Throw your hands up. Throw your hands up at me. Um, I, I loved it. And she basically she said, I am not going to let the men control me again. It was great. It was great. Y'all, we really, and we're not, in true transparency, we we, we received, we're not going to talk about the details of it, but we received a very sweet message from Oh, Maria. this was great. Yeah. Just kind of talk talking about, about how, and the reason I want to bring it up is that I hope other women, men too, but women specifically that listen to this show, I think a lot of our sissies have realized they were in a cycle of abuse with their An abusive relationship, because yeah. Because of this Andrew, yes. Because of this Andrew and Amira situation. Totally. So I just want to remind you, sissies, that if you're in that, you are strong enough to leave them. You are strong enough to be on your own. Amira is a testament. She is a mirror of how you can get yourself out of a situation yep. and live a life that's more authentically you. That's all I want yep. to say about that. Get out, you, reach out to your friends, reach out to your family. If you're feeling isolated, that's what we do. Poodle, what do you do when you're feeling isolated? Um, I get on Grinder. Fuck machine. Fuck uh, machine. Yo, I need to say something. My Roomba Chauncey, who I've christened him, I don't need a boyfriend. I just need someone who's there. He just walks in my room. I just he just walked into into the bedroom when I was like, and I went, "Hello, Chauncey." He like was there cleaning. He didn't say a lot to me. He was just You're there. The Roomba your mother got you. Yes, my Roomba. Is it cleaning your? Is it cleaning your floor? Yes, well? it is. And you know what? I've got to say, he does his job. He's got a job. Um, he 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 does some work. He doesn't talk which is lovely. And you know what? If Chauncey had a penis, I'd probably want to marry him. <laughs> Does everything I need. Your floor is clean, isn't it? It is. I have one and I I need to reconnect it. Do you have I'm a real like Roomba that. or like a knockoff Roomba or like a Boomba? I like what we have. Yeah. I don't Boomba. I don't remember. What no, a Roomba have. is is a Roomba. You would know. So Amira says she's in the rebuild process, and Amira, all the wishes to you to rebuild. And we wish it the best um, for you, and, Amira. And Andrew, stop teaching children. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen, actually. Yeah. So, and that's it, y'all. That's the show. We've got no one else to talk about. What you and me? No one at all. You, you got to talk about me and Cuckoo. We got. I got. I, I got to talk about me. And Cuckoo and Harris and Daddy Ryan and me putting Daddy Harris's picture on the refrigerator. Y'all, it's time for Stephanie. I mean, what a way to end. Um, we've decided we're end. gonna do the entire thing uh as a reality, as a reality theater. theater. <laughs> I, I need to take a drink of vodka for this. Um, let me get my script ready. You know what? You you should too. Let me get my script ready. <laughs> Take a big swig, or I got Chipotle coming. It'll probably blow a hole out my ass. Oh, it will. <laughs> you know what? But the new cal- cauliflower rice is a dollar twenty five more, and it's delicious. That pisses me off. That the cauliflower it's rice good. is a dollar twenty five. It's really good. It's really all good. right. So, um, y'all. We present uh, the entire 
selection of Stephanie and Cuckoo. We are the whole thing in a theater. <laughs> Boy, that's a thick tongue you've got there. Um, Thank you. Many a minute, many a minute said that. Many a man said my tongue was thick. Uh, that usually means you can't pronounce your words accurately, but that's okay. Um, so y'all were in Grand Rapids. We're in Grand Rapids, Stephanie, and picture it: 2020, we're in the woods. <laughs> you know, I need to go. I got, I got the K1 visa here, and uh, I got my little, uh, little burner. And the kind that I sometimes buy joints and it smokes them with. And I'm going to go out and show Day Ryan what's going to happen. Uh, you know, here we go. Um, I hope this doesn't start a forest fire. I thought that too. <laughs> Goodbye, Ryan. Hello, Harris. Burning, burning, burning. You know, the thing is. Harris checks in with me five or six times a day. And, uh, oh, oh, Cuckoo's coming in. Yo, my cat Cooper. Cuckoo, he's 29 years old today. Uh, uh, Cuckoo, you remember what? Cuckoo? 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 I don't. What's what's wrong, Cuckoo? What's what's going on? You're near death. You don't sound old like I asked you to. Uh, yeah, Cuckoo. I thought you were gone. Remember, remember what Mama was telling you about Daddy Ryan? He's gone what? now. Now look at this one. Look at this one. This is Daddy Harris. He's going to be your daddy from now on. <laughs> Y'all, sidebar, this cat has the best bitch please face that I've ever seen of any cat. Also, the cat's ancient and looking kind of taxidermy-ish. Um, so, anyway, back to what we're saying. Guess what? We're going to call Harris Cuckoo. Yeah. You want to say hello to Harris yeah. Cuckoo? Yeah. Ryan! <laughs> Harris! Uh, turns out, so, Her hey, Harris. Harris, can I talk to Emma for a second? Hello. You know, your, uh, hello. Hello. Yeah, your yes, baby I'm mama, I'm which here. is an offensive I'm term, here. but I, I don't care. Uh, I want to go to America. Harris, what say hi to Cuckoo. Do? Say hi to I Cuckoo, oh, hi. Harris. Hi. Show me your dick. Cool, cool. Don't be, don't be dick. gross. Did your cat just talk about my dick? Um, I need to talk to. Here, let me talk Harris, to. Let me Harris, talk. Harris, wow, let me, I played let me, so many. Let me talk to. I played so many characters this week, me, and you're only let playing me talk one. Talk to uh, Emma face wow. to face. Sure, sure. I will let you talk to her. Oh, hey Emma, you got a pretty outfit. Hey girl, on. you got a pretty. Hey girl, outfit this is on. Emma. This is Emma Harris. It's not a. It's just literally a tank top I got Emma, from Old Navy. Say hi, Cuckoo. Say hi, Cuckoo, Emma. Yeah, it's your cat. It's great. I just want to let you know, I'm fine with it. He can date you. He's not fucking oh, me at really? all. Really? I don't care. We just want to go to a, so, America. I mean, he wants to go to America. Your vagina is amazing. I just so want you to take care of. I mean, I just want him to take care of my kids. You're so cute. So you're okay with that if he comes I'm here? I'm great with it. I'm not. I'm not bulldozing you at all. You know, I, I think if if I did not know better, you're running a scam on me. But I love not at all. I love oh, Harris, no. and Cuckoo loves Harris. I love. I love Kitty. I, that cat is so cute. I love. I love Harris the way Cuckoo loves key lime yogurt, and. I need to say that, okay, y'all, you know, here you hear that Cuckoo's Ray for his key lime yogurt. So we got to go. Um, you know, I'm new to this show, but I feel like this reality gaze is off the rails. I agree. We're going to hang this stuff now.
And scene. So y'all were in Belize now. That was that was ten minutes of theater. That was you that was what? a ten minute theater. <laughs> I will. I will miss her when she's gone. Cool, cool. I I want this lawsuit to re- get resolved. The best thing Stephanie doesn't realize is that she needs to make peace with Matt Sharp and be back. Oh on the show. God, she's amazing. She's amazingly terrible. Um. So y'all, we get we get a scene with Harris and Emma, and they're sitting there talking. And he's like, "I've got big dreams. I want to go to America, so my I can give money for my kids." Ste- he says, Stephanie gives me free money. And she says, uh, I will always put my kids first. And then at the end of this, he kisses Emma on the mouth. Wow. And I think I was not surprised. This is the best grift that we've seen ever. Good for you, Harris. You've got free well, I money. Guess coming Stephanie to you. is going to, she's not on the tell all because she's suing Matt Sharp yeah. Productions, but. I think probably this is the reason why we know from 90 Day the Melanated Way that Stephanie is not with Harris anymore. Yeah, she's with she's somebody, dating someone from the from the U.S. Right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. But it's just you know it's what? still bad. Long live Stephanie and, and her cool, cool, horrible humanity. Uh, she's been terrible this season. Should we talk a little bit about the baby special? A horrible human being. Let's, Let's talk just a be bit about the really baby. quick about it. It was a whole hour. Do you think Jovi well, and Yara? Forty minutes. What? It was like 40, 30 minutes, forty-five minutes, forty-five minutes. No, about. I mean, an hour with forty-two minutes. Yeah. An hour with yeah. An hour with commercials. But yeah. what do you? Th- what did you think? Did Jovi and Yara deserve a baby special? I think they ran out of content. Personally. I I called it last week. I you said, did, and I I agree doing? with you. I texted you about that. I, I do. I don't think they deserved a baby special. Did it make me love them more? It did, did and I hate myself for it. Um, the only thing we need to really know here, you guys, is that uh, that Gwen is kind of amazing as and a Gwen she, Yara goes to stay with Mama Jovi. She's like, "You gonna stay with me." You gonna stay with me, Yara? Y'all you gonna stay in my house? Have, I would have done go the same crabbing. thing. If my, if my daughter-in-law was in the big city, pregnant, I would bring them to the country. I feel sorry for your daughter-in-law. <laughs> Poodle got his food, and we're back, y'all. Oh Jesus! After you took fifteen twenty minutes, you know um, I had to take my father into bed. How do you do that? Do you literally move the like the covers over him? <laughs> I do. And he said, hey, it's after 10. Can you tell Jake to cool it? It's a little <laughs> loud. <laughs> uh, you're louder than me. Um, so what else is there to say? Uh, he- I mean, I don't feel like we need to do a blow by blow of this. This pregnancy, this. I just, I, I honestly, I'm, I'm to be honest, I'm going to say what I said last week is that I said what I said. I said, y'all, this last forty five minutes, it was sweet and it was endearing, and it was really, um, I was emotional watching Yard try to have a child or do we of going through childbirth, but it also was just filler. It's filler. It was filler out. because they ran out of footage. Yeah. Um. I I will say I like these two because they're salty with one another, and I'm okay with it. I, and I like these two because I think these two are trying to be better better people with one another. I agree. Um, I don't really think either of them right now are ready for the journey they're about to embark on. I think uh, raising a child is going to knock them both on their ass. I agree. Um, and I think Yara is starting to realize it and it's making her nervous about how Jovi's going to have to grow up. Um, Jovi has no fucking idea about how to put in a car seat to be, to be frank, to putting be in a fair, car seat is difficult. How I have tried to do this and failed me too miserably. However, you should have practiced it a couple of times. I would have thought that my mother would come with the car seat. I would have thought that too. Yeah. Again, 
this your mother, but your empathy. mother babied you. Your mother babied it's you true. your whole life. But this yeah. gives me more empathy for Jovi because I do think Jovi is trying. I think he's trying, and I think that he wants to be a present father for his child. Um, I think he does. I just don't think he has the tools or the skill set. I mean, would you ever let someone film you having a baby like Yara did? I would never, never do that. Never. I don't care how much you pay me. I would never do it. So I don't know. You, respect to her for that. If you if you threw me twenty grand, I think I'd probably open up my vagina. Uh, <laughs> I need at least a hundred, at least. Oh wow! What do you think about the name? They had a little girl, you guys. What do you think about the name Mila? I'm going to be I honest. Like it. I love it. I, I love, love it. the name Mila. It's original. It's not a copy of any kind of like. Uh, fucking uh, uh, cat Hunger Games or uh, or a Game of Thrones. I love that name. It's like Miley Grace, but <laughs> or Mo- Miley Grace, Miley Cyrus, but classic. Miley Grace. Wonder wonder Miley what's gonna Grace. happen to Miley Grace, Lindsay's daughter. <laughs> Sadly, no, I'm not. Miley hopeful. Grace is gonna be and, an exotic dancer. And, you know what? And that's and fine. That's as long fine. as she stays, as long as she stays clean and uh, and stays off drugs, I'll be happy. It, yeah. I um her her grandma will sit and just Brenda, worry the whole Brenda, night about her. <laughs> if if Brenda can get to her, she'll be okay. Yeah, I wish more for Miley Grace. Wow. Y'all, that's a that's love, a love after lockup lock reference. reference. If you're not watching that show, you're missing out, and it's a good time to catch yeah. up. Comes back on. In, it's on high. Comes back on in right June. And if you want to jump in, that'll be a whole, it's a whole new set of casts. So it's a good time to it, jump well, in. Well, I think there are a couple okay. of oldies. Oh, wait. I think there are like two, but there, but there are, are a lot of new people. But a new love. It's not life. It's Sean. Love Sean's so. new love, who's also a jailbird. So it's new, but it's not new. Yeah. It's, are we going to have Destiny's second husband? I, her new hot husband? You're confusing me. Well, you know, if she, <laughs> you know, if Sean's on there, they're going to totally. Dude, they gotta have. Destiny. Well, I think she's back in jail, so that's kind of hard to film her. <laughs> um, y'all, if you're, um, uh, if you're, again, if you're watching the video and you're going, wait a minute, <laughs> it was night outside, and now Poodle's place is sunlight. Y'all, we had a lot of technical We're doing a little editing difficulties last night. Lot technical difficulties on Poodle's part. I got drunk on my I'm, part. I'm actually a little, and, a little embarrassed at how you behaved. Uh, you was you slurred, was you slurred, a and uh, and you couldn't even. You, one point, one 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 of your I got the hiccup. One of your lazy it. eyes went like like a flounder. Went almost all Y'all the that, way to your all the way to your head. That Kate Hudson vodka. It Kate Hudson vodka knocks you I out. I can. So anyway, I, at one point I was just like it, smelling my hand. It was not a good no, night. It, it was. It, it and then at one point Poodle just as you just saw as you watch Poodle the video froze <laughs> for like ten minutes, but we just heard Poodle. Poodle has fixed his. I internet. have. Um, I had. To, I had to kind of go through a couple of things because with a Google Nest oh. you have to forget it and the old network. And I think I'm. I think I figured it out. So y'all, I think from going forward, it should be and, clear, queer and you sailing. Know what? We did not have one single "Don't Pull Over." We did not. I guess. I guess. R.I.P. Don't pull over. I think over. there'll be. R-I-P. I have heard some helicopters occasionally, but it's okay. so we'll quiet where I rolls. am, y'all. Y'all, you uh, thank you for listening. We would just want to remind you if you want to, um, we're still coloring classless on our reality gaze extra. That's on our Patreon and our X X X extra. X X X. So you be sure to jump into that. Um, we're going to be doing next week. We're going to give you uh, two episodes of the single and a, life or and an episode week, of big week, royalty. Right? Yep. So d- we're going to give you an episode, two episodes of Single Life, episode of Pig Royalty, because we're only doing one 90-day oh, fiancé show this week. <laughs> Got a lot to do. Um, so <laughs> I need to go take a Pig nap. Pig Royalty's on Discovery+. Plus. But as with anything, try before you buy. The first two episodes of Pig Royalty are going to be on our free feed, and then after that it's going to go to the $8 yeah. tier or eight, five, eight $8. You will tier. not be sorry. It is everything it's, you could want. <laughs> it's everything you could want. Okay. Oh. I have to ask you because my father, 
Or maybe you, oh, you haven't seen it yet. My dad was watching The Masked Singer, and there was somebody on there who could wail and sing. And I said, I wonder who Poodle oh, I think I have. Oh, I think I, I have most of them yet. chosen. Um, this is in Group B. This is the Black Swan. Oh, that I, you know who I think that is? Um, is I think it's who? JoJo, the singer who's like, get out, let him live the view and me. Oh. JoJo, because there were some Maybe. clues suggested like, 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 like tennis shoes and sporty. Um, was JoJo on X Factor? Because they had an X. I don't. I think she. Are you thinking of the same person? I'm maybe. Thinking of? I don't know. It, it, it just aired tonight. Uh, no one gives a shit about this. I'm certain mm. that the uh, seashell is Tamara Mori. I'm certain, and uh, because or Maori, Mori, Maori. In the in the, in the south, would say, "Oh, you know that Mori girl, <laughs> that Mori girl." We need to move on. Y'all, <laughs> you can go to, hey, the tell all looks fantastic wet next week. So we will be recapping that. Fantastic. Ho- hopefully, there's only, there's going to be, gonna be two. two. There's going to be two. Um, also, y'all, you can go to realitygatespodcast.com. Poodles, uh, I'm, um, my cameo is cameo paused cat- right now. I'm probably going to unpause it uh, after I've kind of recuperated from my shot and I'm kind of getting my, gonna- my, my life back together, like Cody Rigsby says, you're I need to get my life together. When I t- you're going to unpause it when I tell you. To. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Because I need to take care of you because you've had it's got, to do. And I've been very, very busy this week because also professionally, I have, I have three meetings this week. It's nuts. Because I didn't have a meeting last year. And he's year. trying to get everything done because once his vaccine kicks in, he's going to have a the lot of The clock's going to be, uh, the schedule's going to be filling up. And so will I. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Gross. You can come at me on Cameo, though. I'm back on. Y'all, you can follow us on Instagram at Reality Gaze Podcast. And you can follow us on Twitter at Reality Gaze Pod. Special shout out to Christina because I know this was a shit show to edit for Intimate <laughs> Portrait with all these videos. So, and I called her today and I'm like, the videos are this, and this, and that. And she said, you know what? <laughs> you need to not worry about this. Let me just take care that of it for so you. That is so sweet of her. Me. It was so kind. I love her. She's a very sweet person. If you need an editor, y'all, come at us. She's fantastic. All right, everybody. We call these people lonely hearts because, Poodle, aren't we all just lonely hearts looking for love in all the wrong places? Yes. And if you need to go down to Dubai, you to see the Jovi family. Go down, Jovi. Jovi. Shall you will go be kissing some crab. You will go get me some food, Shall we gonna have a good time on the bayou tonight? Call us. <laughs> Call us. <laughs>